I'm Maddie. And I'm Nick. We're here to show you this year's 15 finalist videos for Samsung Cell for Tomorrow. Let's take a look. Brooklyn Technical High School, New York. After the tragic loss of several classmates to accidents involving pedestrians and cars, students designed a Samsung Watch app. The app alerts the wearer when cars are approaching. Three of my friends from middle school were hit and run over by cars all within 15 months. In cooperation with the Mayor's Vision Zero initiative, I created the Vision Zero Youth Council to raise awareness among all students in the city. Every year, hundreds of people are killed by cars on the streets of New York City, as many by cars as by guns. We've got to do something about it. That's what Vision Zero is all about, and it makes such a big difference to have young people involved. On October 8th, 2013, my son Sammy was killed in front of our home. This technology is so important, it will save lives. Allison, one of the creators of this video, is, was a friend of Sammy's and the other two boys killed here. Education will help, but kids will be kids, and they won't always be fully aware of their surroundings. Smart technologies can help. Our project is to apply STEM and specifically signal processing in a Samsung watch app that alerts pedestrians when a vehicle is approaching at unsafe speeds. Regular sound waves can be described by their period and their amplitude. So different sound waves have different amplitudes or periods. A mathematician named Fourier showed that any wave can be uniquely characterized by the sum of trigonometric functions. The shorter a period, the higher its frequency. So the three waves we just saw can be shown on a histogram, one bucket for each frequency, and amplitude as their heights. This principle allows us to recognize an engine sound. When a car is stationary, the sound waves it emits are identical in all directions. When a car is moving towards us, however, the period of the sound wave it emits is compressed. This is the Doppler effect. Now let's code all this into an app for the Samsung Watch using the Tizen software development kit. So what does this code do? So this is running in an emulator on the Tizen SDK. It will be running on Samsung smartwatches. First, I'm going to test the app with the sound of my voice. Test, test, test. Now, I'm going to test the app with the recorded sound of a car. Now let's see this code in action. As a first step, we'll run the prototype on a laptop. Uh, we, got, we got some good stuff right there. The next steps of our project are to decrease false negatives and reduce false positives. We also have to make sure the speed of the car is dangerous. So far, we haven't implemented the Doppler effect. We'd like to polish the app so that everyone can use it. Hopefully the future will look like this. That's pretty awesome. Want to vote for your favorite finalist? Go to samsung.com slash solve to learn how. Ready, set, vote. vote.